guys, it's Abby from Twist Me Pretty and today's hairstyle is a really fun and edgy half up faux hawk. I hope you guys love it as much as I do. I'll be using my laced hair extensions. I will leave the link to the ones I have in the description box and let's get started. You're going to first gather a section of hair starting at the point of your eyebrows and pulling back to about the top of the ear. And I had just done this to my hair so it was really easy to find the part. Use the end of a rat tail comb to help you get clean lines if you need. And then just tie that off with a clip. And then we're going to take the sections of hair left down from the side, smooth them out really well, and then tie them together in the back with a clear elastic. Now I'm just going to layer in some of the single extension clips so that the braid is really thick and long. It's absolutely not mandatory to have extensions. In order to make this hairstyle work, I'm just going for super dramatic. And then I pulled out my Sam Villa texturizing iron. I haven't used it in a while. I thought it adds some cool texture though, so if you have like a crimper or something, go ahead and use it on this hairstyle. Um, but again, it's not necessary to make the hairstyle work. Once you've added in your extensions, just take a teasing comb and back tease that entire section. Getting this section ready is really what takes the longest, but it's also really important to get that perfect foundation to work with, so don't skip over it. And then now we're just going to start a regular French braid all the way down. Super, super easy. I'm seven months along with twin boys. Yeah, uh, don't worry, I'm not freaking out at all. <laughs> but all these prenatal vitamins are giving me tons of new regrowth. So if you have flyaways or baby hairs, make sure to use some pomade or a spritz of hairspray to keep them down. You want this section to look really sleek and flyaways, well, they're just going to ruin it. So after you've finished braiding, tie the section off with a clear elastic, and we are almost done. And now for the fun part. We're just going to tug and pull on the French braid to make it more voluminous. It really helps if you have a mirror in front and behind you so you can kind of see what you're doing as you're doing it. I'll leave a link to the mirror that I have in my bathroom that really, really helps me. I promise it makes a world of difference. And the finished look! Give it a thumbs up if you think it's pretty much awesome and let me know in the comments where you'd wear it or any other styles you would like to see. Okay, I just love you guys so much and hopefully we can squeeze in another few videos before these babies are born. <laughs> I love you guys. Bye!